Okay, so we have the tank emptied. Uh, make sure you empty it. Don't skimp on that. We don't want any gas in there. Um, no issues, whatever. Uh, but it's empty. It's on the uh, workbench. And first thing I want to do, I kind of wipe the, the grime around, but uh, clean out like inside the hole here. This is a carburetor cleaner, so it should be compatible with everything here. So it should be good. I'll let that dry out a little bit before we go too much further. Okay, so I want to open up that hole a little bit so I have a little more surface area and get it roughed up. So I've got it's uh, a Dremel bit, but it's uh, I just put it in my drill because I don't want to drag my Dremel out. So we'll just uh, V it out a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll, uh, Get the heat gun going with the LDPE plastic. This is just some strips that I cut from a condiment bottle, a um, little flip top lid. So this will be on the recycle, the little um, arrow thing with the uh, number. This is the number four. Make sure you do, use the number four recycle. It's the LD, the low density polyethylene. Uh, there's a lot of uh, science behind all that that I don't quite understand, but um, we're gonna give this a try. This is the, from what I've read, this is should work out just fine. Okay, here's my hot air gun setup, solder gun, hot air. It's not a plastic welder, but it's got hot air. You can turn it on. I've got it set to 196 degrees Celsius, which should be good for what we're doing, not too hot. I'm doing this just because I can control the heat a lot better. Okay, so I've got my air gun up to temperature. I'll get this heated up, see if I can get it to stick on there a little bit. I've got a little, it's actually a razor blade, but it's uh, just something clean that I can kind of work this in with. The idea is, the idea is to melt the LDPE and get a little bit of heat into the tank. It's more about getting the low density stuff melted in. I just, small, just use the small edge to kind of push everything in there. It appears it, appears it kind of turns clear when it's melted. And I want to push through a little bit of material into the far side of the hole to kind of form a plug in there. Okay, there we go. I think we're good. Uh, we'll let her cool down, put some gas in, and see what happens. Okay, here's the test. And now there's fuel up on it. Looks pretty dry. Well, uh, if I have any troubles with it, I'll update the description. But I think this is a pretty good fix for these uh, cross-link polyethylene tanks. There, uh, there's not a whole lot of repair, ways to repair it, but this is pretty straightforward. I like it. So uh, if you would, uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. So thank you.